Ladies and gentlemen, another episode of Tosh Talks. I am Tosh Berman. I am the book buyer at Book Soup, an uh, independent bookstore in West Hollywood or Los Angeles in California, and on Sunset Boulevard, on et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And this episode, I'm very uh, charm, no, seduce. Seduction is the word here. Um, I have a series of titles by um, Errata Editions, E-R-R-A-T-A Editions. I may be mispronouncing the uh, title of the publishing company. If so, please forgive me. But Errata puts out um, uh, books, uh, they do photo books, and they have a series of photo books that's re that regarding classic photo books from, uh, uh, from the 20s to like, you know, the 60s and some later. And what they do is they reproduce the photo books. It's very fascinating. They reproduce classic, almost impossible to find, and probably at this point in time, priceless photo books. And you expect, okay, so what are they going to do? They're going to do exact reproduction of those photo books. No, they don't do that. Uh, I'm going to show you all the books in a second, but first I want to show you uh, Ballet by Alexey Brodovich. Brodovich. Um, totally fascinating. Uh, what they do is, here's the book of ballet, and what they have done is, um, is actually take the whole book and they re-photograph the original edition, the original book. So here's like the title page, for instance. So it's like a book within a book. And um, all you do, all they do is just reproduce the book. But, but a different size format, of course, because these, these books are actually kind of small. And here's like a double spread of the book. So anyway, what you're getting is actually the whole original photo book. And don't worry, I'm not going to show you page by page. But I just want you to get an idea of what it is. And um, the printing of the books of these series is excellent. I mean, you can read the text easily. Uh, and you see the image easily. You can actually see the pages on the side here easily. It's really a book within a book. And you start thinking, why don't they just republish the book? They can't because the original copies of the book are missing, or maybe only one copy is in a museum or, or in a special collection. And two, the printing of books, is prov it, it's too expensive to actually remake these books to its original edition. So what they have done is actually just take the books, re-photograph the books, put it in this sort of smaller format of size, they're all like the same size, and, and just redo the books. So you're actually seeing the original books the way they originally were laid out, but of course, it's just a photograph of the book. And you have to think what's important here. I mean, it's a reference, obviously, it's a reference of, 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 of these works, but it's also you're one step removed because you're not actually seeing the original book. You're actually seeing a reproduction of the original book. And also the sides have been scaled down. And the photograph, the reprinting of these are like, I mean, they're, like, they're beautiful. I mean, they're this exquisite. But it's not the same as actually seeing the original book. So it's, it's, just, it's just a fascinating process where you're actually not just looking at a book of photographs or, the, or, or, or you presume the original edition but you're seeing like a, f not a fake edition, but you're seeing a, a different edition. But this book acknowledges that this actual series is a new edition of an older original edition. Does that make sense? I see you're all nodding your heads out there. But um, all, so basically it's, it's a uniform series. And what you get is the original book. And then if it's a book was, uh, it was done in Europe or you know, in a foreign language, there's a translation of the text in the back of the book. So you get the original text, of course, um, that's in the book. Um, but in the back, you get the translation of the text, and then you get an essay about the history of, of that particular edition, like what happened to that edition, what happened to the photographer, stuff like that. And um, Al Alexey uh, Brodovich is a fascinating guy. He's famous for doing incredible layouts. He's not really known as a photographer, but he did incredible layouts for fashion magazines during the 40s and 50s. Like he sort of invented the double spread uh, shoot, or, and it's kind of a collage effect. And uh, it, he's this incredible, credible designer. He's known as a book designer and a, and, a, and a designer of the printout page. 
and you can't see this too closely, but these are his other books that come out, that came out in the past. And uh, this is the only book I think that I'm aware of that he actually took the photographs of. And he did this in 1945. Um, and what happened was um, he made a small edition of these books. The editions he did have burnt down in a garage. He kept, he kept it in a garage or in a barn. They burned down, so he lost the original edition. So someone, the publishers, found original edition of, of ballet and reproduced it. And that is the motif. And here we have um, um, uh, 60 photos by Lazio uh, Mo Moholy Nagy. Probably mispronouncing this genius's name wrong. Please forgive me. But he is a, uh, connected to the Bauhaus movement in the 20s. And this is a book he did in the 20s, I believe, you know, called 60 Photos. And um, here's like the original cover of the book. And again, what you're getting is this, you know, what, how the book looked, you know, the copyright page, the introduction here. And again, this is actually in, um, uh, in German, the text that was done in German. And you're going to get the translation in the end of the book. And here's, like, here's again sort of the whole translation. And, um, and then here's the actual, you know, here's all the photographs in order of the original edition. And um, you know, beautiful thing here. And um, again, in the end of the book, you get the translation of the, of the German as well as the history of the book and what happened afterwards and before. So we have this 60 photos by Lazio Mo Mo uh, Moholy Nagy. We have a classic English book, American book here, American Photographs by Wa uh, Walker Evans, the godfather of American photo books. Important, important photographer, very important book that's totally way out of print. If you can find a copy, it's, it's, um, it'll be, it's priceless, perhaps. And they did reproduce this over the years, but they always changed the design or they did the chopping of the, uh, of the actual photographs. This is actually a copy or reproduction of the original edition that came out in the 30s. And it's just, um, I mean, this book, is a, it, wow, this book is like a wow. I mean, here you see how the original double spread of the book. So again, these books are not about the image themselves, they're not about Walk, Walker Evans' photograph, it's about the book, how the book was designed. And that's the interest of this series, it's actually studying how the book was laid out, how the pages were laid out. In photo books, that's extremely important, as important as this glass of orange juice, thank you, oh, my breakfast. And, um, you know, when the photographer was alive, this is how the book looked to him. And this is a very important document, incredibly important. Here's something I never heard of. Um, uh, okay, I've been butchering everybody's name left and right, but this one I'm going to like totally massacre. Uh, Zenik Timov. Does that sound good to you? It's uh, first name is Z D E N E K, last name is T M E J. The book he put together is called The Alphabet of Spiritual Emptiness, and it's Photographs of forced labor camps put together by the Nazis. And it's, you think, here's the title page of the book, you would think it's this total like concentration camp photograph, and it is of sorts. But it's more like the daily life of the camps and what was happening and stuff. And, um, you wouldn't know where what was happening. Just look at this book without the text. You wouldn't really know what the story is. You don't see anybody like actually suffering or doing anything. Just like eating or yummy food. No, not yummy. But it's 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 a it's incredible documentation of the time and place. And here's like a guard with a very nice portrait of Olaf Hitler in the background. And. Um, Again, the layout. See, the layout is more important. You think, well, I want to see a bigger image of this. But what's important about these books are the layout of the original editions. And this edition is, I think, of, this, of um, the alphabet of spiritual emptiness is probably um, non-existent at this point. I think it's, it's, uh, there's like one copy in a museum or in somebody's collection, and they went out and photographed these books. So it's a great series. I strongly recommend it. Great for reference. For book lovers, an uh, absolute must, because this is really about the book, how the pages are laid out in the book. And it's just, uh, it's, it's, it just knocks me out. It's not for everyone. 
It's only for people who love books, who love photography, and loves the idea of how photographs are replaced on the page, and also the ideal of these are actually original editions. You're getting a photograph of it. Not the original editions, but a reproduction, a sort of the original editions. It's within the end, 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 and then we go out. But a slightly different subject matter is a book called Con Concentric Circles by Monty Packham. It's a book about Steidel publications. Ger Gerhard Steidel is a publisher out of Germany who does exquisite, beautiful books on photography. And he does a lot of fashion photography and he does a lot of art photography. And fa for, for instance, he works with Ed Ruscha on certain books, does like art books as well, but he also has done books with, um, with William Eagleston, a favorite of mine if you watch the show. Uh, Robert Frank, the Americans, all Robert Frank's work he publishes. And this is a very, very strange and very unique book by him. He doesn't really do books like textbooks or books with this text, no images. Oh, Jim Dine's in the cover. That's, that's something else. But anyway, what this book is, is basically a diary of Steidel working on various projects. And it's really interesting because it's not really gossip or anything, but it's just how Steidel works in his office when he does traveling arrangements, <laughs> how he arranges travel arrangements. And him working with people like Ed Ruscha and Robert Frank and, uh, and uh, William Eagleston of sorts. So what you get here is a text about his day-to-day -day life, like say the year, like all through 2008, what, what, what he was doing in the office, as well as commentary by Ed Ruscha about what it's like to work with him. And it's, it's really a fascinating book, great book. And this is a book about not only uh, art photo books, but it's also a book about publishing, what a publisher does. And, as the, and I have my own press, Tom Tom Books, as well as being the book buyer at Book Soup. I find this book really, really fascinating as a publisher to read about another publisher. So again, is this book for everyone? This book is for people who love, again, like these books, like photo, photo books, and may want to dig deeper in what makes a photo book and, and, and go into a little more deeper about the passion of making a photo books, how these people are obsessed about paper, uh, obsessed about the, the, the tonage of the photograph, how it looks on a page, on a, on a piece of paper. And you, interesting, in, you meet interesting people, like Carl Langfield uh, does all his books through Steidel, or he has an imprint that's distributed by Steidel, but they work very close together. And so you got like the whole fashion world, you get the fine photography world, and it all is combined in Steidel. And um, it's, a, it's a really great book if you're really a researcher or want to study about book history or books. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is an episode of Tosh Talks. A little scholarly today, a little kind of serious subject of sorts, but um, I know you can all accept that, because that's what I am, and that's what you are. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>